In this video, I will show you how to do bulk loading of a data with a talent to your database. And for this, I have prepared a job, as you can see on the image, I got it open already here, which is called bulk load example. So let's dive into that. Why, first of all, would one want to do this? Well, bulk loading is usually a lot faster and then uh, doing some ETL uh, or some other form of loading files into the database. And the good thing here is that bulk loading in Talon is available for many database types. If you go to the palette here, you can see uh, there are quite some uh, specific, uh, quite a number of specific database basis where this is available. Here on my local example, I will use MySQL, but it's all available for Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, DV2, and many more, and also for some NoSQL databases, as you can see here. Okay, then first of all, how to do the bulk loading. There are, when we you for bulk load components for MySQL, there are three different components, which are those three that I just selected now. Okay, and they do two different versions, let's say, of bulk loading. And those two ones here on the right hand side, you would have to use them together. When you do a use a DB output bulk component, it basically just creates a file on your local system. And then a separate step, the DB bulk exec component would pick up this file and load it to the database. So this is a two-step process like I've written in this note here, where we do in our example, the same thing, but in only one step. This one step here is the first step. The first part of this one step is creating in this local file, as you can see, uh, and also and then in a second step in this same component, uh, loading in this file into the database. Okay, and I've uh, built a very simple example here. First of all, we connect to the database and at the end we disconnect again from the database. And for the file we use, I also included here at the end a file delete component to delete this file again from my temp tier. And we're going to uh, measure to chronometer the time taken for this whole process. And then the actual bulk load is this thing here, but for the bulk output exit component, I could use an action on table here, but I decided to create this table separately. I've got a context variable defined here in my job, which is called bulk demo, as you can see, and I'm creating a table of the schema that I'm using here. So I just inserted this schema here with some a definition as the key and not being null these columns and then this is fine and in the next step once this table is created i create some dummy data to use for the bulk loader obviously in talent this could be any other input data source or transformed data uh, that you might have but for the example i'm creating some dummy data as you can see here for columns, nothing spectacular. Here's some date values as strings, a true false flag, some text value, and a sequence that talent generates for me. And I'm creating 5 million rows here. Okay, so I click OK. And first of all, before I can do this, uh, it would be pretty much similar on other databases, uh, I have to check for one option on my end database, which is in case of MySQL called local underscore in file, how this is set. Okay, if this is set to on or to true already here, this is fine. Uh, let me just show you how it would be as a default usually. Uh, it would look like and this. You can would see off here instead of on. And if I now wanted to execute my process, I would get a little bit ahead, but it would not uh, run because loading local data is disabled, as you can see here. And it's indicating that this must be enabled on client and server side. So again, switching back to my console, I can set this again to true. Query the value again we now see it's on again and here i can see you can see i got my uh, temp directory open already so i can place this uh, alongside 
Orlando Open Studio. And now we'll execute this process again. We can see it's creating a file here. It's growing in size up to 173 megabytes in my case. And I can see here it's already saying 5 million rows created in 3 seconds. But that's just the file creation part. And it's now uh, processed, being processed by the uh, database. It took around 20 to 30 seconds before. It's now taken 24 seconds. And you can see here once the process finishes, it's deleting the file again as per what I implemented here in my talent job. That's fine. So now let's have a look at um, the tables in my uh, database, first of all. Okay, here I can say show tables. We can see that there is this table bulk demo, which is all fine. And now I can uh, pick a small subset of a data here with a select star and a limit uh, on it to see uh, some uh, values. Okay, and also we could uh, do obviously a select uh, count uh, from this uh, table without this limit here to see how many rows are actually in this table. And we can confirm that these 5 million rows have been written uh, to my database. So that's what you would do to write data to a database using a bulk load mechanism. Okay, here it's the DB output bulk exec component. And as I said, this works for many different relational databases. And also there are bulk load components for some non-relational uh, databases. So this is how you do uh, bulk loading in uh, Talent. Now go ahead, try for yourself, uh, leave your comments below and see you in the next video.